Example 3.1 from Chapter 1, Part 2, Loading Distribution. Determine the characteristic permanent and variable action. So, characteristics permanent is the GK and variable action is QK from Euro code Part 1. On the beam FB1, as shown in the figure, a brick wall of 4 meter height is sitting on the beam. Unit weight of concrete is 25 kilometer per meter cube. Finishes 1.0 kilonewton per meter square. Brick wall 2.6 kilonewton per meter square. And given variable action is 4.0 kilonewton, kilonewton per meter square. So this is the plan. The floor plan column at four edges each, and this is precast slab. Please take note for precast slab, the distribution is in one way slab. No need to calculate ly divided by lx. Precast slab directly, it is known as one way slab. And given the size of the beam is 250 mm B and also the H, the depth is 700. So we read it as B times H. And is, this is the dimension of the slab, 6 meter and also 8 meter. And this is the cross section. So... This is the cross section, section 1 1. You look, your eyes is here. Okay, so this is column, this is beam. So along this beam, there is brick wall, 4 meter high. This is brick wall, 4 meter. This is Prishka slab. Precast and this is beam FB1. The thickness of the slab is 150 millimeter, and the depth of the beam is 700 millimeter. So the question is to calculate the characteristic permanent and variable action. GK and also QK. GK is the permanent characteristic permanent action and QK is the characteristic variable action. So we know that GK is combination of sulfate plus brick wall plus slab load. Let us calculate together. First, the permanent action GK. We calculate sulfate first. So for sulfate, is 250 mm 700 mm 0 0.25 meter multiply with 0 0.7 meter multiply the, the unit weight of the concrete kilonewton per meter cube so this is cancel the answer the answer is 4.38 
kilo newton meter next is the brick wall the brick wall is the unit width of the brick wall is 2.6 kilo newton per meter square multiply with the height of the brick wall which is 4 meter then finally the answer is 10.4 kilo newton per meter next we calculate the slab load so this is the beam and the distribution of the load slab load is in one way direction so equation for the one way slab is slab half 0 0.5 multiply with the the load multiply with lx so 0 0.5 lx here is 4 point oh sorry lx here is 6 okay 6 And N here is zero point sorry four point seven five. So the answer is fourteen point two five kilonewton per meter. So how we get four point seven five? So this is from slab. Okay. So slab distribution slab GK is the thickness of the slab multiply with the unit weight of concrete plus 0 0.1 where 0 0.1 is the finishes. Floor finishes so 4.75 total GK is 4.38 plus 10.4 plus 14.25 equal to 29 kilo newton per meter okay so let us see the variable load the variable action qk is equal to for one way slab is half 0 0.5 multiply with the load distribute by the slab multiply with lx zero point five and and here as given in the equation given variable action is 4.0 so we use this directly 4 and your LX here is 6 this is LX this is LY okay and the answer is 12 kilonewton per meter
this is the idealization of the load okay where our QK is 12 kilonewton per meter and GK is 29.0 kilonewton per meter thank you